Hey guys, Fix It John. Uh, this video is about installing a dry well. Uh, you can use a dry well not only for a water softener like I did here in the back, but you can also use it for any gray water as long as your AHJ approves it. Hey guys, Fix It John here. Uh, I'm starting my uh, drywall pro uh, dry well project right here on this uh, concrete wall. And what I'm doing is uh, I'm using a 2.6 inch OD diameter uh, concrete hole saw and uh, I'm just using what I have and we're going to punch through this wall here. We got lucky. Only catching the edge of that uh, pillar on that brick, whatever it's called. That block to the right there. We'll go on in at an angle and punch through the other side. coming off of it. I'm going to wash a little more and uh, hopefully we won't have any issues with our dry well. I didn't want to do this, but I think it's going to save me, uh, save my dry well from going out. All right, guys, there's my uh, dry well. I just want to give you a look-see before I uh, start working on it. It doesn't have any holes in it, but I liked it better than that black one. I don't know the name on it, the three-piece thing that you had to puzzle together. This is solid. It's 56 gallons. It'll drain, uh, it'll hold 56 gallons. Uh, you can also stack them with another 12-inch section like this, 12-inch high by 24 and keep going up i gotta punch some holes in it so it drains all right guys there it is uh i got it from drainagedirect.com paid 170 bucks for it holds 56 gallons and uh and you can add sections to it too so uh right there it shows it has a riser i'm not going to put a riser on here because uh we're, we're, we're not taking that much water in plus i don't want any dirt to get in it's, uh, it says a four and a half inch hole saw is uh recommended when drilling a four inch inlet now we don't need a four inch inlet uh, florida building code is a four inch inlet but that's only for storm water that's uh, water coming off your roof gutters and stuff like that doesn't say anything about uh, a brine water tank we're also going to drill some uh, one and a half inch holes in the side it says uh, no more than 20 one and a half inch holes per 12 inch section so cost me a little bit more money than that black one you'll see online that comes apart two pieces there i thought it was one whole piece but if you see that hole there that hole right there. I'm gonna put screws in it. If you get that one lined up with here, all the rest of them will line up. All right, guys, we're gonna fasten that uh, anti-float uh, flotation device on there. It's that bottom ring. So grab, uh, gravel holds it. And... See those holes are lining those up with uh, one of these. Get one of these poly lock uh, dry wells in the mail. You need to screw it together otherwise uh, it won't have any structural strength uh, the weight of the rock could just push down on it and flex it hey guys when you drill these holes out you want to use like a uh, whole, whole uh, drill bit I'm using a step drill bit uh, only because I didn't have a big enough hole uh, bit this is an inch and this is probably inch and a quarter the step drill bit I was <laughs> So they're in line this way. So yeah, you wanna be sure that it's uh, pretty close in line this way, pretty parallel. That way when the water goes out, it'll flow equally around each side. All right guys, we're checking for pitch coming out of the wall to make sure that uh, water's gonna drain uh, a downward slope through the wall and not back up. But what we have here is a uh, full bubble 
behind level and what what that'll do is that's telling us we, we have a full inch drop for every foot of pipe coming out of that wall. All right guys, I'm, I'm not going to uh, dig this out. I'm gonna use magic. Hocus, hocus, dominocus. Ta-da! All right guys, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna have to do something different with that uh, PVC pipe. Right there, the magic, uh, magic man really did a good job on that. All right guys, that's plumb enough. Strap that pipe to the wall and call it good. Guys, uh, I bought these uh, metal galvanized straps. But I bought the wrong size, inch and a quarter. I don't know what I was thinking, so I'm gonna just use what I have here, these plastic uh, conduit straps. Hey guys, right here, uh, you can see I took some pictures for the city inspector and I took more as I went. Uh, he said as long as I had pictures, I could go ahead and close it in and uh, finish the job. Get ready to throw some river rock in there. It's, that uh, hole is uh, 42 inches deep and I'm fixing to shovel uh, like six inches of river rock in there. Uh, then I'll throw the uh, geotex down and uh, fill it up with rock. Uh, the reason why I'm putting some rock down in there under the geotex is uh, so give it a little bit better drainage. Uh, I don't want this water going anywhere but down. So I think I'm gonna wash it as I go. I got the reclaimed water right there. We're getting ready to throw the fabric in here. But before I throw the fabric in here, I want to make sure these rocks are fairly level. I want to center it because the fabric's going in next. And I'll have to show you the money shot. Oh, yeah, perfect. There it is. Good and level. Level that way. And level that way. Good enough for government All work. All right, guys, this is what I ended up getting. Super geo textile, heavy duty geo textile, uh, used for erosion control, construction, underlayment, landscaping, and more. Uh, it is uh, 15 by 25, and the reason why, six ounce. Uh, it's a six ounce super geo textile, non woven six ounce, 15 by 25. Also, it's a uh, needle punched, and I guess that helps the water go through better, but uh, how I decided on this stuff was I saw a YouTube video just like you guys are watching mine. And uh, this was from a uh, landscape uh, drain specialist called Dr. Drains, and I think he said North Carolina. But uh, I'll leave a link to his uh, video so you guys can decide on your own. Uh, this is not the Lowe's or Home Depot crap. This is uh, good stuff, should last for years. He recommended six ounce. Uh, All right, guys, I couldn't find. Uh, it matters which way the uh, fabric goes in the ground same color on both sides. I wanted one big piece of fabric, that way I didn't have to lap it over one another, I just wanted one big piece. Get the dirt out of it. Yeah, that rock I put in the bottom will help, uh, help definitely help the drain. I'm going to shoot a hole right through here where the pipe comes through. I'm not, I'm not going to splice it. By the way, I do have a permit for this. All right, guys. Uh, I'm glad I did put that rock up under the uh, geotex because it's puddling a little bit. But if you pick it up, it goes right through it. So it'll have a place to go. There it's gone. I'm glad I put the six inches of rock down up under. I, I was wondering if I was wasting my time doing that. Got an inch and three quarter drill bit here, hole saw. <laughs> Thought it was an inch and three quarter. No, oh, inch and a quarter. I did the same dang thing, man. 
Well, fix it, John's not always perfect, so we'll round it out here. There it is, just gotta make a little adjustment. Yes, there it is. I got it all pieced together, I just need to glue it. Per Florida Building Code, the uh, drain waste venting pipe uh, does not require primer. I like to put it on because it's gonna make sure I get a good bond. When you're globbing glue, glob it on the pipe and just sprinkle some on the joint. Put it in and give it a quarter spin. Hold it, cause it'll push back out. This next fitting here I'm putting on a uh, drain waste clean out. See how it's uh, angled here? I wanna go with the flow of the pipe. Uh, this is not required. The only reason why I'm putting it on is uh, if I get a lot of mineral buildup in the turn or somewhere down there, which can happen, especially here in Florida. Hey guys, uh, what this is, this is a, a drain waste slip coupler. In this case, I'm going to use it to keep the roots out. I mean, it doesn't fit real flush there, but I'll fill that up with glue just to prevent uh, roots, basically. I mean, there's other holes in here, but they're a little deeper. Right, guys, I'm also going to cut this pipe back a little bit. I want it uh, like seven inches out. That'd be plenty good. That way, when it comes out, it'll drip in the center. Alright guys, I'm going to throw this lid on here. Right here before I forget, it says insert uh, number four rebar here for underground metal detection. So, I don't have any number four rebar, but I do have some bolts I'm going to stick in there. Here's my bolts. All right, guys, those pipes need to be rerouted because it's just over the dry well rock. So I'm gonna use my Hocus Pocus Magic on it. And I'll just throw this uh, magic blanket over it. Hocus, Hocus, Dominocus. He used black uh, PVC hose. I don't even know where he got that. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that this right here comes uh, it doesn't come with it, but it is optional for a uh, four inch riser with a flow plate on it. And that's what you want if you're hooking this to your uh, gutter system. But I don't anticipate that much water. I mean, we're gonna get maybe, maybe 50 gallons at the most for a brine cycle on our water softener. This uh, poly lock is uh, rated for 56 gallons, just the tank not to mention all the gravel around it and under it. So that's why I didn't want the uh, flow gate on here and also because it'll collect dirt and eventually it will break. Mowers running over it, sun hitting it. I opted not to do it. And, and it's not code. You don't need to put the riser with the uh, flow gate on it. I do highly recommend it though if you uh, attach it to your gutters. And you all right know. guys, I'm just gonna lay this uh, fabric back. Hey guys, that clean out that I put in right here down at the bottom, I should have put it right here. Right guys, there's my permit. Uh, the inspector signed off on it and said he'd close it out. Uh, said the job was uh, better than most plumbers, but uh, uh, the cost of it, uh, it was permit plumbing, the cost of it was 5000 and I estimated that 
myself because uh, the plumber, we got an estimate from a plumber. He wanted 1800 bucks just to put one in. Plus the price of a uh, water softener, a good one, another thousand, or uh, that's not even to mention the uh, dry well. He was just gonna run the pipes outside them to the grass. So uh, the project's water softener, project description, water softener and dry well. Came out today, passed my inspection. Yeah, he did say that the job uh, was better than most plumbers would do. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm not a professional, but I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to build your guys' uh, confidence to do it yourself. Uh, these inspectors, uh, for whatever reason, we, we get uh, a, uh, an illusion that they're hard nosed and they want to beat us up every time they come out to inspect something. But uh, here in Clearwater, they're pretty good people, man. They just, uh, they're easy. And uh, if they point something out and want it changed, I'll, I'll change it. But uh, he didn't want anything changed. He said, Hey guys, fix it, John. I just hope this uh, dry well video helped somebody or gave somebody an idea on how to do something or something different. Uh, if it did, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys watching. Fix it, John. Moving on to the next project. Our scoop helped me dig. Good job, scoop. Oh, good boy. Couldn't have done it without him. Okay.